dirty after this one. Nobody's getting back in the truck with that much truck on us. <laughs> Got it all knocked out. I ended up just leaving the GoPro down there. I don't even know if it's still recording or not. But, uh, man, there's a lot of grass. The sun did come out for a minute, though. All right, guys, so this video is going to be a combination of yesterday, some footage that we actually had left over on our cell phones before the debacle with the GoPro. So I figured I'd plug it here real fast for you. And I'll also say this property right here, you're going to see this job did not last long. Simply, we don't want to destroy the homeowner's property. And uh, yeah, just pay attention here real quick. It's not going to last real long. He lost a little control on the mower. Yeah, there's, there's way too much water sitting there. All right, guys, so not gonna do this one. Simply, I turned up there on the hill, and this is like a mountain. So all the water's coming down, and literally the first time ever this has happened on this property, as soon as I turned, the mower wouldn't stop at all. I had nothing. I mean, it literally was just like an ice skating. I mean, there was nothing. I tried to stop it because Lathan was standing right here, and I yelled at him too. Thank goodness he heard me to get out of the way. And uh, yeah, so then I came down here and yeah, we're not gonna, not gonna destroy this lawn any more than what we have here. We'll live to fight another day. And uh, what I'll do is bring some seed and toss some seed up there. It didn't really rut it, it just slid. So it just pretty much scraped it. The grass is still there. As you can see the grass is still there. It just brought the mud up. So we're gonna get it cleaned up here a little bit and uh, live to fight another day on the firehouse here. Well, we're back here at this one. This is the one uh, TQ and Lathan got stuck on like two or three times last week. And uh, we're not looking to do that again. So we're gonna go ahead and skip it. I can see water sitting down at the bottom. So there's no point in going through all that fun right now. So we're gonna move on. So you can see right here, right there, right there, those are just little globs of grass, okay? And you could run this thing over again, but with as wet as it is, you want to try to minimize that as much as possible so that, for one, you don't rut the yard, and for two, there's no reason to tracking it up even more just for some little globs of grass. So just come in. Take those little balls and just disperse them out into the lawn. been unable to mow this for the last couple weeks one week we were able to get to about right here and then I got stuck back here but uh, other than that this thing is just super soaked from all the rain and water just coming down the hill
there will be times if it gets tall enough we'll come in and we will literally trim this entire area out by hand we'll just come back here i might even film it if we can't get on here in the next couple weeks i'll literally film it i'll set the camera up here in hyperlapse we'll take three of us and it'll take about 10 minutes and we'll literally trim from probably about halfway down that hill all the way out and around the back of the garage just so we can get some sun penetration to try to dry it out. I haven't done a cone flip in a minute. Be another minute before I do one. Get on the trailer. Just packing up. Just kidding, guys. So TQ knocked the front out here. Lathan's just finishing up around the back little wooden fence. Start blowing off. Had to go a lot slower in the back. That's why I'm kind of bit behind. Didn't want to destroy it. This baby is far wetter than what it looks. Well guys, we mowed this last week and coming along and yeah, I'm stuck. So wave TQ down. She went to go get the rope pierce come. It shows you even we're even wetter than we were last week. And there's more to come right here. Should be starting this afternoon for the next two to three days. So. Oh, and she's recording. How can be? I was going to try to act like this didn't happen. I was going to try to act like this didn't happen. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this rainy Friday morning? You guys are probably wondering why we're at Best Buy. I'll tell you exactly why we're at Best Buy. We uh, filmed all day yesterday, had the most magnificent film of our career, best videos ever, I'm telling you right now. And we set the <laughs> camera on the trailer and drove off and lost it. So, offered a reward and never came back. So, we gotta get another GoPro. And the total is going to be 649.61. Alright guys, so replacing what we lost. You ain't getting any flowers? I can smell the lilacs walking in. I got you babe if you want some flowers. That's alright. But it's not Mother's Day just yet. It's okay. Every day is Mother's Day, right? Should be. So we got all the goodies from Best Buy back here at home and I'm going to put it together so we can get it charging so maybe we can use it later on. I will say I have a piece of property I'm going to go check out and I'm going to bring you guys along. But we get asked all the time what uh, cameras do we use, you know, what stuff uh, do we film the channel with. Well, typically it would be a GoPro 9 but they didn't have any 9s but they had the new 10 in. So uh, the GoPros are all... Well, I shouldn't say the same. They are different. Uh, the 8 was absolutely horrible. I did not like the 8 at all. Uh, so I guess we'll find out if we like the 10. This is our first 10. Uh, we had some uh, issues with some of the 9s. We have probably 8 different 9s over the last couple years. And uh, simply we break a lot of them. Uh, ran a couple over with a plow. Ran one over with the lawnmower. Hit another one with the lawnmower. Actually, the one we lost yesterday, which was the one good one that we had zero issues out of. Uh, I actually ran that one over with the lawnmower as well. So here's the GoPro 10. And uh, I'll, I guess I get, I'll just put it together here and show you guys exactly what we use. So come with these little shields on them. Peel those off. Now I will say, guys, like that one you want to take off just because it has that red blob there it'll get into your sh your shot uh so take all these off but if you don't know go you can order on google 
little shields that go over these and we have to order them because we break one almost every single day filming just uh from little de debris flying chips uh stuff like that from the trimmers and mowers i'm not kidding you we would destroy a camera every day if we didn't have those little things on there man that piece of tape is no joke they got on there anyways give me one second here kind of that tape was no joke so there's the gopro 10 Looks like they put a brighter blue on there, brighter blue on the side. Looks really nice, really clean. Looks just like the 9, though, to be honest with you. So, yeah. So then what we do is we pair that with this, okay? This is the Media Mod Kit. And what this does is this gives us really clear audio for you guys. And with that, uh, it knocks a lot of the wind noise down so you guys get a better quality sound. Uh, whenever you're filming and making video content, I can't stress to you guys enough how important it is to uh, have good audio, okay? And trust me, this isn't the best, but it's far better than what you would get with just the regular GoPro. So, we're going to get this baby all together here. Man, they're really, they're really packaging stuff pretty good these days. I guess you got to to keep people from uh, snagging it, hopefully. So... Move this trash over here out of the way real quick. So the GoPro comes in this kit. Nice little kit. We never use them after we take them apart. Comes with a charging port to charge your GoPro. One battery. Uh, a fast clip adapter. And then it comes with one sticky mount as well. You can stick that to anything. It does kind of have like a roundness to it. Put it like on a mower deck. Something like that. And then it comes with one more little uh, nut bolt. And then comes with the instructions as well in there. So we'll never use this again. Uh, just because we have a media bag that we put everything into when we travel and stuff. Uh, but maybe the kids will want it. So the media mod kit comes with another one of those that you get with your, your GoPro already. You get another clip here. And the good thing about GoPro, guys, is they do have a lot of different interchanging parts where you can get good action shots and stuff like that if you want to. Uh, we ordered a Insta360 camera, and I had really high hopes for it, but uh, it came in and the audio is awful. So we decided not to use it and uh, return it. So you get your little microphone cover here, and all it does is snaps right over the regular mic here on the outside. Just pops right in. And then you slide your GoPro into the side here. Open it up. Nothing inside there. You'll put your SD card here. Or no, let me see here. SD card goes right up here in the side. Sorry, that little slot. And then right here you can put in your charger if you want to and your battery. So we'll go ahead and insert the battery. It looks like it's the same exact battery as the uh, 9 has. They do change these up occasionally though. They will, they will fool you. So we'll go ahead and insert that right into the side. You just push it in there. Once you have your battery inside there, to use the media mod, you actually have to remove this little door off the side here. You can put it back on if you choose just to use the GoPro like this. But us using the media mod, you need access to that right there on the side, which slides into, slides into that little piece there. So we'll go ahead and insert it. And that connects it together. Go ahead and close it up. And then it has these little tabs on the bottom. They're kind of hard to get your fingernail in unless you're uh, a lady that has a little bit longer nails. So I just used a little tab on the little tooth here. Boom, bada, bing. And they stick out like that. These things are a little bit of a pain. So then we pair that together with a Joby. Okay. These things are phenomenal. I will say don't live, leave them on your dash because once they get hot, they uh, kind of loosen up, and then they're extremely hard to, uh, I guess, get to connect to th different things like a tree, anything like that. So we use these just because they're universal. So I'll actually strap this to even, uh, say, my tripod. I'll strap it to the trailer. I'll strap it to the mower. And uh, really, it just gives you a good, easy uh connection point 
for whatever you're trying to strap it to. So if you've never seen one of these, get this sticky plastic off here. Basically, it's like tentacles. If you remember, like, the guy from Spider-Man, you know, he'd wrap around you kind of like an octopus arm or something. So you can bend these any way you want. You can strap it on your head if you wanted to, run around like a nut, do like a cone head or something. But anyways, up top here is what we need. Oh, it comes with a cell phone holder as well with the Joby here. So now we have our Joby and our GoPro. The only one other thing you'll have to buy is this little screwing piece that goes right on top of here. And I don't know why they don't come with it, but I mean, I guess they don't know that you're gonna connect the GoPro to the Joby. They come with these ones, which will work on certain holders and stuff like that. But to connect it to the Joby, you're gonna need this little screw on one. So then you slide this right in to those little that little slot there to marry them and then there's like a little groove here on the side of the GoPro that allows the tooth of this uh, to go in and then it kind of snugs in right there if you can see that right up in there kind of hard sometimes to uh, get your finger in there so you got to kind of like use like half your finger and these do get super tight okay but I will say, some of the Joby kits come with a tool to break this loose if you need to. So there you have it, guys. That's our setup, exactly how we do it 90% of the time. You can angle this baby any way you want. You can vlog, which we do a lot of, hold it out here, and we record ourselves. What's up, guys? Sean here with Spencer Lawn Care. How are you doing on this beautiful Friday rainy afternoon now? So that's what we do. That's how we do it. And this is what we film with. Uh, hyperlapse. Uh, you can do super view. Sometimes, like, if we look really wide, we're trying to shoot in a real wide angle super view. Uh, it's not that, you know, the camera doesn't add 10 pounds, you know, to our beautiful figures. But anyways, guys, just being goofy. Comes with a little leveling kit on here. We never use it. We just kind of eyeball it up. But uh, also gives you a good tripod, tripod platform if you just wanted to sit it on the desk and, you know, do some vlogs. You can also connect these Bluetooth to your computer or your internet and go live on YouTube with these as well. Uh, I believe Instagram compatible as well. But uh, yeah, let's go check this property out, guys. I'm super excited. If this property ends up selling in the price range that I'm hoping, we just might be able to lock it up for a future Spencer Lawn Care household and possible shop. Let's go. All right, guys, out here exploring this piece of property. If I'm out of breath, it's because I literally just climbed a pretty darn good sized hill. And uh, yeah, it was a good sized hill. So, piece of property here uh, we're interested in looking at. And uh, really, just can't see much other than trees from the satellite view. And uh, this one comes up. Uh, for sale next month. So June middle of June and uh, There's some other ones that are in our area as well just uh, I Think they're gonna be a bit out of our price range. So Nice piece of land here. What I was really looking at is if we put a driveway up the hill Even if we brought it in at an angle Is there a flat enough spot up here to to build a house at some point <clears throat> and I think definitely looking around there absolutely is. This property also looks like it has definitely been logged out probably in the last, I don't know, 50 years or so. I saw this bucket. I was kind of walking my way this way. It's like a deer cage there maybe as well. Yeah, definitely some kind of skeletal bones. Oh, nice piece of property though, for sure. Goes into some better looking pines over here, but there's not much that way. 
yeah really nice really nice piece of property here definitely got signs of deer <clears throat> I believe it's just this corner right here of the pines, if I remember correctly. All right, guys, so I told you yesterday on the live about these houses they're building, like, side by side. They're houses slash, like, apartments. These things range, you know, for, like, a one- or two-bedroom, very small one. They're, like, sixteen, seventeen hundred a month. Uh, the bigger ones are in the mid-2,000 range a month. But they are just building these things as fast as they can put them up here in this area. And what stemmed that from the conversation we were having yesterday <clears throat> is basically people were talking about how you're not going to even have to own a vehicle. Our, our kids as kids won't even have to own a vehicle. And that is 100% true if you're looking at what the newer builds are here like they're doing. Like this place here in one second... I'm uh, just going to drive so I can speed it up and not talk. But they're just going to fill this whole entire area up with these as fast as they can build them. And then uh, they're putting all the amenities. Restaurants. They're putting uh, grocery stores, gas stations, all that stuff. So they literally won't have to leave their home here, basically, if they want to. Are these guys working? Not going that way. That was open the other day and we drove through here. I wonder if like the different color ones mean like, oh, these ones have two bedroom. This color has three bedroom. I don't know because there's multiple colors. I think it's just done by design for, I guess, an artistic appeal. But literally, guys, there's probably going to be a total of how many they're putting here just in this little area. There's probably going to be an additional 1,000 people now. I mean, just right here. These were not here six months ago, guys. And they're very nice if this is your kind of lifestyle. Like, you want a little yard. You want no maintenance. Uh, you know, you literally, there's your mailboxes. But here's what I wanted to show you as we were talking about. You wouldn't have to go anywhere. So you come out of there. There's all kinds of shopping restaurants right here. Literally, if you got one of those little power scooters, you don't have to go anywhere. It looks as if they're going to build more back here on this side. Look at that mountain of dirt. And then right in front of us, they just put a brand new Myers in. What do you think you're doing? Hey, have you ever seen Pringle underwear, Funyun underwear, and Dorito underwear? I mean, they would be zero calories. They even smell like it. No, they don't. For is real? It? Can Smellers. you guys smell that? And that store is packed, and it's a really cool store. We just left there. We love it. Gas station, and then you're literally in Belden Village, which is like the most popular area in our area. All right, so just got back from walking the property, and I have to say absolutely love it absolutely love it the only thing that has me a little bit worried is the property land has skyrocketed in our area so i have a number we have to stick to and uh i don't know if our number is going to work for what that property is going to go for i just think it's a super nice property it's going to be very sought after uh high valued land and uh yeah, I don't know. But all you can do is try. So I guess we'll wait and see. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. No GoPro footage other than some of the lawn care stuff that, uh, you know, we had saved already to our phones. And most of that footage was just from our phones. But got that one charging. We have other ones as well, guys. Believe it or not, we have huge cameras as well that we used to use back in the day. Uh, T7Is and we have the... Oh, man, I can't even remember what the heck it was. 90D, uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of cameras. And then simply, guys, I got tired of breaking them. They were super expensive. Not that these aren't. You know, these are really expensive, but they're just a lot more durable. If you drop those off a truck onto the ground, most of the time, you know, if you crack a lens, you just take one of the little cheap covers you buy for them to put on it, 
take it off, replace it, and it'll still work. So it's just what works best for us. Do your thing if you're thinking about getting into the whole social media thing. I will also say, just make sure you stay on top of it, guys. It can uh, it can consume your life very easy. It can make people uh, treat you differently, and that can be good and bad. And the biggest thing is you just got to stay level-headed and uh, be you and be who you've always been and uh, don't change up for nothing. That's just is what it is. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace. Bye. If you notice my eyeballs are moving back and forth, it's because I'm recording with the phone and I don't know where I'm supposed to look. <laughs> Have a good one, guys.